hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun one, although I always say that. We are heading over to Clevedon, a very charming town located about 30 minutes from Bristol. And then we're also going to Castle Coombe in the Cotswolds, which is one of the most beautiful historic towns in the UK. So if that sounds good, let's hit the road. We started our day in the coastal town of Clevedon, which is situated on the coast of the Bristol Channel, and it's known for Victorian architecture and a very picturesque pier. Say that five times fast. The town is incredibly charming, and I was struck by the fact that it feels both artsy and historic. For example, we were there between Christmas and New Year's and I loved seeing the town's bollards, which are like these black posts. They were covered by yarn bombing and many of them were holiday themed. It was so incredible to see. And after doing a little bit of sleuthing online, I realized they were made by a local knitting club and apparently it's a local tradition. So I just love that about travel, the things you never expect to see sometimes always are things that make the most difference. Next up, we made our way over to the famous Clevedon Pier, which opened in 1869. It is one of the town's most iconic landmarks, as it is the only grade one listed pier in the country, and it's also considered to be an excellent example of Victorian architecture in the UK. So definitely make some time for a wonderful stroll. They actually have a walking path that runs a very good length along the coast in Clevedon. So grab your coffee, take a stroll. It really is great. Sadly, as you can see here, we didn't have the best weather. So we decided to go warm up at a local cafe called Leaf and Bean. And we started with some lattes, which were perfect and delicious and we also had some sandwiches which were excellent so simple pleasures but it really made for a great stop if you want to just kind of grab a lunch or grab something for takeaway perhaps maybe you'll get a nicer day with the weather then after that we made our way uh, back to london but with the mission of making a much needed pit stop in the historic village of castle Coombe. We parked in the parking lot above the village. I'll leave a link to it on Google Maps down below in the video description box. And then we walked about 10 minutes down into the heart of the village. And I imagine this is probably the best way to do it because we didn't really see parking in the town itself. So just put on those running shoes or comfy shoes and be ready to have a good walk. Castle Coombe is considered to be one of the most picturesque villages in the country. It is known for its honey-colored stone buildings and it's just kind of idyllic historic setting. As we walked down into the village, I could immediately see why. It really felt as though we were stepping back in time. Now, Castle Coombe has a rich history dating back to the Roman era. The village was apparently an important center for the wool trade during the Middle Ages, and several historic buildings still remain in the village today, including the Market Cross, which dates back to the 14th century. Now, to be honest, today it feels more like one of those villages that are really just a tourist destination, but there are actually, I think around 350 people who do live in the village. So I guess some people do get to live in this magical, wonderful place. Um, it definitely is one of those places I could see feeling too crowded if you made your visit during peak hours of the day or during popular times of the year. I'm rather grateful that we picked a quiet day between Christmas and New Year's because we had the wonderful experience of feeling like not many people were around. During our time there, we explored the outside of St. Andrew's Church, which is a beautiful 13th century church that features stunning stained glass windows and also an impressive tower. And for those that are interested in seeing kind of old cemetery headstones, they certainly have a lot of those as well. 
Now, if you're planning a visit to Castle Coombe, you can stay overnight here in the village as it is home to the Castle Coombe Manor House, a stunning grade one listed building that dates back to the 14th century. And the Manor House is now a luxury hotel and spa, and it's also a popular wedding venue. We had wanted to pop into the hotel to have a tea or coffee and have a little nosy look around, but there was a wedding happening there that day. So sadly that did not happen, but more on that later. Instead, we took the advice that I am giving you just by wandering around the village, taking in the beautiful historic homes and buildings. It's just fun to get lost in the little streets and to feel like you're stepping back in time and just really enjoy it. Now, just as we were wrapping up our stroll around the village, something magical happened. We started to hear bagpipes and realized a wedding procession was heading our way through the main street in town and over to the hotel, which we happened to be standing near. What luck. It was a very special moment to experience and just another great reason to come and visit this magical village. After our kind of paparazzi wedding moment, we stopped at the Old Stables coffee shop for a coffee before hitting the road back to London. The coffee shop was rustic but charming and I would definitely recommend it because it's a little off the beaten path in town, although there still were quite a few people there. And then from there it was back to London but it really made for a great way to spend the day just seeing something near where we were staying in Bristol and then having a little bit of a pit stop halfway or so back to London. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my travel and lifestyle blog, please hit subscribe. It costs you nothing and it means when you pop onto YouTube, you get to see my latest videos in your feed. And leave a comment down below. Have you been to the Bristol area, to the Cotswolds? Please leave some comments. Give me some more tips. This was my first time seeing a few villages in the Cotswolds and the Bristol area and I definitely want to go back because I think we just barely scratched the surface of this beautiful part of the country. So as I always say, sharing is caring here on this channel. So with that said, thanks again for tuning in and I will see you soon.